Good looking, Brian. What's happened? Nothing bad so far this morning. That makes a difference. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. No coffee? Uh, no thanks, I come to ask you a favour. What? Well, I'm going up west this afternoon. Now, I should be back in time, but if I'm not, would you pick Vicky up for me? See, Mum's gone up west. Well, I'm I'll, do I'll do it for you, you know. Oh, would you? I've got, I've got to pick Stephen up from nursery. One more, don't make no difference. Oh, thanks. Great, OK, then, well, I'll see you later. Thanks. That's nice of you. Well, I'm a favour. Who? Oh. Michelle and Jim. He came round and fixed my cupboard for me the other day. So it's one of you need anyone to fix a cupboard for you? Oh, just because I can do it, Kath, don't mean to say I like doing it. So what do you reckon to him, then? Oh, Jeff. It's nice enough. Yeah. It's nice to see Michelle with a decent fellow at last. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, Pat. Just the lady I've been looking for. Now, stay right there. Don't move. I'll be right back, yeah? Does that look good, or does that look good? I mean, did Cindy Crawford ever look this good with her clothes on? <laughs> oh, get off. <laughs> well, I hate to agree with Sanjay, Pat, but it is nice. It's just right for you. What do you think, then? Oh, a bit young, I'd have thought. Oh. Get lost, Jim. Shut up. You, Pat is in the prime of life. Now, Pat, take no notice. She's just jealous, because she ain't got the air of mature sophistication that it takes to carry off a high-quality piece of schmutter like this. And all the money. When they say chivalry's dead. Yeah, well, I ain't got the money either, Sandra. Pat, do you like it or not? Do you think it's too young for me, Kay? Oh, don't be dull. Pat, come on, why are you? A hundred years old or something? <laughs> But believe me, you look like a million dollars. I tell you what, because you look so good, I'll do you a special deal, right? Buy this one and I'll let you have another one half price. Some deal. All right, all right, two for the price of one. Any colour you like, 15 quid the pair. Oh, you've got to do it, Pat. It's worth it for the crack. Hmm, you're wrong. Great. Well, come with me and choose another colour then. Oh, hang on. Do I get two for the price of one? Yeah, if you can find something you like. Yeah. Right. Five minutes, Natalie. Oh, yeah. oh. Hello? Oh, yeah. I was not slaving over that stove. I was. Just popped out to have a look at something on San Jose's stall. Thought I'd come round and annoy you when I was at it. You're wasting money on clothes again, are you? Well, I would have done if I'd anything in my size. I just wanted to fancy having a drink in the Vic. Do I have to? What's that for? Well, I don't know. It's just embarrassing, isn't it? Everyone going on about me and you all the time. It's not like you to be shy. I'm not shy. Just don't like everyone realising I can't do any better for myself than marrying an old boot like you. <laughs> <laughs> One o'clock, Phil Mitchell, or you are dead meat. All right, what are you having? Oh, uh, it's all right, again. Oh, no, you won't. I haven't had a chance to toast that big couple yet. So what will it be? Well, I'll have a half a lager, please. Well, sure. go on, then. I'll have a pint. Half a lager and a pint, and uh, whatever you're having. Cheers, I'll take a gin and tonic off you. So you set the day yet? No, not yet. What? No, I said no, not yet. Well, I'll just get used to the idea that it's happening at all. <laughs> Yeah. So if you're married to Grant and you're married to Phil, does that make you sisters in law then, does it? Certainly does. <laughs> Mind you, we've always been as close as family, aren't we, Kath? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, uh, congratulations. Longer beds and longer in them, eh? Oh, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. cheers. There you go. Give it to me. What's it worth? It's worth not getting a smack in the mouth now. Give it to me. I don't know if I should. I mean, you and Ricky have to split up, haven't you? At least that's what you told me. What do you want to read a note from him for, anyway? Because I'd rather do that than spend ten years in Holloway melting my best friend's eyeballs with a flamethrower, that's why. Now, just give it to me, Nat. God, you've got no sense of humour anymore. That's because it ain't funny. You haven't read it, have you? Of course I haven't. Do you think I am? I don't want to know what's going on between you two anyway. Good, because I ain't going to tell you. Well, that's all right, then. I didn't expect you to. I mean, I'm only your best friend. What's all this whispering going on? Nothing's going on, Kath. That'll be the day. Anyway, we haven't split up. We've just told people we have. Yeah, including me. Want to meet me? Yeah, I know. You cow! Oi! I'm not having that sort of language in my cafe, thank you. And if you order something, I'll get out. I'm not having that sort of behaviour in here. Cup of tea, please. I'll get you for this. No, you won't. Right now, you need all the friends you can get. Now, this is what we'll do. We'll start off here, have a couple of drinks. Take in a movie and then we'll go over to Fat Freddy's for an hour or so. Fat Freddy's? You don't get anyone more than 14 in there. What are you talking about? I thought we weren't looking for no one. Sorry, Kath, can I get you? Here's a bottle of wine to take out. Were you at the one with the green label? Yeah. What are you two planning then? A night out on the town. Just me and him. Boozing, brawling, you know, having a good time. <laughs> I'm glad I won't be there to see it then. Right. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> You were watching, you know. He's after your body. 